in any electrical installation a very important feature is the socket wiring every circuit that features this socket may factor in a ring circuit as well as a radio circuit that is a very common type of wiring for socket installation either in a house electrical wiring or a business electrical installation the type of wiring is primarily designed at the stage where the house is constructed this ensures that the pipework that is done will definitely factor in a ring circuit or a radio circuit. At the construction level, the electrical technician will definitely design that. For instance, this demonstrate a conduit that travels all the way to that particular point where you have a socket right there, and then it feeds another socket through that other conduit right there. And then from there, it goes all the way to feed another socket. That could be a different room. Probably it's a three bedroom. So that is a different room. Take note that the conduit size right here is 25 mm. From that power point, it goes again to that socket. And then finally, my top goes to the consumer unit. So which type of circuit is this for those socket connections that i've just demonstrated is it a ring or a radio let me know in the comments section today we are privileged to be joined by tess who will take us through these connections okay okay look at that work your work okay for the ring circuit we have taken the live from the incoming and the live from the outgoing to one MCB, as you can see. And this is what I'm doing here. What is the size of the MCB that you've dedicated it to? The size is C20, and that is what I have used for my ring circuit. So this next one is for the radial circuit. I'll connect it to a different C20 size MCB. Given that we are using stranded cables for this demonstration, stranded cables meaning that in a single cable we have several strands or wires inside. She has wisely used ferrules. Ferrules come in handy especially when using stranded cables, screwing them to MCPs or the earth bar or the neutral bar. They will not be dented or damaged leading to loose connections we know that loose electrical connections are a recipe for disaster especially where you are starting the circuit connection at the consumer unit so when these ferrules will be screwed they will definitely not be damaged in any way okay on this consumer unit we have different ampere cds and the one we use for these sockets we have two two circuits here we have the ring and the radial 20 ampere mcb which will serve one of the the circuit which is the ring circuit and we have another 20 ampere mcb which will serve the radio circuit for a radio circuit mm -hmm. the circuit starts from the consumer unit and goes all the way to the first socket and then to the second and finally to the last depending on the number of sockets that you have but for a ring circuit it starts from the consumer unit goes to the first socket yeah. loops to the second the third the fourth or whatever number of sockets that you have on that circuit that. and it goes back to the consumer unit making a ring so what are you doing on that one Tess? Uh, this is the neutral mm -hmm. So I'm connecting the neutral with this point here, neutral bar. Why is it important to ensure that you use longer cable, especially in the consumer unit? Uh, longer cables are mostly for in case of repairs and also it is easier to work with mm. than a shorter cable. Yeah. That's the main, main reason. Nice. For a socket installation, I think is very important because of the many appliances that will be connected on them. So the earth connections have been made on the earth bar and the neutral on the neutral bars. 
In the next video, we will be testing the circuits to ascertain that we have done a good job before we commission it. How do we do it? My top boss, don't miss that video. If you have not subscribed to our channel, subscribe so that you will not miss any episode that we release.